Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of your forecast. It is a chilly but dry Saturday evening. Things are decently quiet for right now, but we've got a lot of changes coming our direction in the course of the next couple of days. If you don't believe me, take a look at our 7 to 10 day forecast available at wreg.com slash weather. Or if you'd like a light, bit of light reading, watch the scrolling text down here and you'll see some big changes coming on through as we get into around Monday. Winter setting in in a big way with some drops in the temperatures and the possibility of some rain changing over to some form of freezing mixture as we get into and around the area of Monday night and early Tuesday morning. Not great chances for precipitation, again, but still the possibility of some of that out across portions of the Mid-South. Put away the snow shovels. Don't think we're going to need anything like that, but we'll give you the details on that coming up here in just a little bit. Got reports from around the Mid-South area. Drop them into the comments section. Let's see what your temperatures are. If you've got a weather station out there, a thermometer in the kitchen window, let's see what the temperatures are. Wind speeds, rainfall amounts in the last couple of days. Whatever you've got, give us a location, city, state, drop those into the comments section, and let's see what's going on in and around the Mid-South area. Coming up, we'll take a look at forecasts into next week, and we would like to be able to see the transit of Mercury, the planet Mercury, going across the sun's surface on Monday. We're probably not going to see it here but it's still going to be happening, so hopefully some good online views. We'll talk about that. A look at the tropics, and of course a lot of other stuff to talk about here coming up in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that. Quick check of the forecast into overnight, getting up early tomorrow morning for early sunrise services at church, anything like that going on. It's going to be brisk with maybe just a couple of clouds and temperatures back to around, say, 40 degrees for the metro area. Outside of the metro area, temperatures will again possibly be back in the mid to upper 30s. The key at this point, temperatures this morning were back in the 20s and 30s. Tomorrow morning, temperatures are going to be a little bit not that frigid because of those winds out of the south. So things looking a little bit better as we go into tomorrow. At least not quite as chilly, but still pretty brisk as you get up and get going in the morning out there. Don Oswald, 42 in Hernando. Welcome to the show. Thanks for the weather report out there. Janet Littlejohn, welcoming a wintry mix. Uh, thank you very much for one vote there. Melissa Ann Frost, cold in Olive Branch. Thank you for that one. And thanks a lot for sticking around for everybody here to see what's happening. David Pinnell, cold in by Halia. Thank you for that report on there. Well below normal for this time of the year. Record high was 80, set back last in World War II. Record low of 20 degrees back in 1991. Well below the average for the year. And take a look at the precipitation. We are about 66 inches just at that number for the year. That's 22 inches above normal. That's nearly two feet of extra rainfall for the year. So we've done quite well on rainfall. Don't need any more. Hopefully not going to be seeing too much of that coming up in the near future. Decently clear for right now. The runways and the terminal and the tower of Memphis International Airport. Things are looking quite nice at this time. No problems with fog into and around the area for right now. So decently clear skies here. Big River Crossing doing its thing at the top of the hour, looking good back toward West Memphis, Arkansas as well. So again, looking at the possibility of, again, some chilly conditions out there. Uh, Denis, Denny Pan, 43, hope I'm saying that right, in Millington. Thank you very much for that one. Connie Ramsey Ray, 44, starry sky, beautiful moon in Summer, Tennessee. Thank you very much for that one. Joe Brown, I say, I say, where's the snow? Well, Governor, it's coming, so just give it a moment. It'll be here in just a bit. So, again, thank you very much for the uh, Cockney accent, I'm assuming. 38 degrees in Fish Lake, Indiana. Connie Wibson, Wasaki. Have never been there before, but thanks for checking in on that. Feels great in Bartlett with the windows open. Melissa Hill. Well, a little bit breezy for my taste, but hey, no problem at all. Thanks a lot for checking in. And 46 in East Memphis, Ariel Jackson Carter. Thank you very much. Uh, for that weather report tonight. Our storm system is on the way. The moisture for the storm coming in from the southwest. The colder air is already into the Dakotas and the upper Mississippi Valley. That's going to be aiming toward the Mid-South as we get into the rest of the forecast. But for tonight, again, outside of a few clouds, there's precious little, if anything, out there on Storm Tracker 3S radar. Clean sweep around the entire area. 
That will change as we go into around Monday morning. More on that coming up in just a bit. Mid-range of temperatures out there. Again, the coldest numbers in the lower 40s already. Warmest numbers still around 50 degrees in some areas. So these numbers on WeatherNet 3 kind of walk that middle ground territory, giving us some lower to mid 40s out across much of the area for right now. Okay, for tonight into tomorrow, temperatures again through about News Channel 3 at 10 in the mid to upper 40s. The moving lines on screen, that's the winds at the surface. And again, they're going to be coming in from out of the south going to the north, up the Mississippi Valley. So that's going to keep the temperatures into very, very early tomorrow morning, only in the lower 40s. Again, that's chilly, but that's not quite as frigid as it was yesterday morning. As we go into the rest of the day, quite comfortable, actually. Very mild by lunchtime, lower 60s, mid to upper 60s across much of the area as we head into tomorrow afternoon. And as an added bonus, northern Mississippi, southeastern Arkansas, anything along and south of I-40 in the metro area, you might see a 70-degree reading or so, uh, but that's going to be the exception. The rule will be the 60s. Maybe a 70 out there, but that's going to be about as much as we see uh, into and around the area for right now. But comfortable, dry. I predict a very busy day at the car washes tomorrow afternoon, uh, getting the sunshine out there and knocking the dust off the wheels. Again, could be a popular hobby into tomorrow. And by tomorrow evening at this time, not that chilly, cool-ish, but temperatures back Sunday night into the 50s and still not seeing too much of anything going on in the way of rainfall yet. But let go ahead and walk you through this and show you what we've got going on. Rain moving into the Mid-South early on Veterans Day Monday. Back to the Northwest, the colder air interacting with that moisture and changing. Green indicates rain. Pink is rain mixed with or changing over to snow or some frozen precipitation. And the white to purple is the possibility of snowfall out there. Now getting into Monday afternoon, it's going to be windy throughout the day on Monday. It's going to be rainy, so any outdoor uh, Veterans Day activities should be very good consideration to move them indoors if at all possible because of just the rainfall and those gusty winds coming on through. By late in the afternoon, sunset, dinner time, we start to see that changeover happening as we get into and around the northern third of the News Channel 3 viewing area. That starts to settle into the I-40 corridor through about dinner time and early on Monday evening as Veterans Day starts to kind of wind down. Northern parts of the viewing area will see the best possibility of that changeover from rain to the mix to just possibility of snowfall out here. Now here's the thing about this shaping up before you start looking at tomorrow Sunday morning ads for purchasing a new snow shovel before you do anything like that this is not looking like a huge situation at this time the moisture level is going to be pretty shallow and drier air is going to come in and chase this on out of here so yes by the time we hit news channel 3 at 10 on Monday evening it's a good possibility most of the mid-south will see rain mixing with or changing over to some form of frozen precipitation, maybe even some sleet in there. Does not look like a freezing rain situation. The ground is too warm for that, so not expecting that much. Now, as we get into the early evening hours, that cold air makes its way on through, but that cold air is also very dry, so that starts to erode the moisture from the backside, and anything in the way of moisture that is left over as this passes is going to fall apart very quickly, dry up, and that should be about it. So by the time we hit about daybreak Tuesday, everything for the most part will be out of here. Could be some snow flurries from, say, Corinth, Tupelo, Oxford, Batesville, and points to the east, but again, minimal chances only. So the opportunity and the odds of the kids getting out of school on Tuesday Minimal at best. I doubt we're even going to see a dusting out of this. It's just not really possible uh, for right now to see anything out of this. So again, it is going to be a possibility to see some precipitation changeover. Yes, accumulation, little if any, and problems for travel, little if any, because everything's going to be over with basically by about Tuesday night at midnight and then sweeping everything out of here after that. So yes, we have, again, the potential. No, it's not a huge one. Can this change? Absolutely. Yes, that's what winter weather does. And if you've never tried 
winter weather forecasting, I urge you to give it a shot. It's one of the most humbling experiences you can ever have, and you're talking to somebody with a couple of decades of experience in doing stuff like that. So again, watching this carefully, keep it tuned to the weather experts, and we'll keep you updated as to what may be going on out there. All right, running the numbers as we go into and around the area for right now. Uh, April, Michelle, same kind of weather. We had ice storm of 94 kind of but the moisture is nowhere near as deep there was a lot of moisture with that storm the setup is similar that's a good comparison but unfortunately right now there's not as much not as much moisture as we could possibly see uh, with an ice storm and the temperatures are going to be cold but they haven't been cold for so long they're going to let a lot of moisture stick around and freeze layer on layer on layer so could it happen Sure, absolutely, if the conditions were right for that, but not right now. But again, good uh, reminder about something like that going on at this point in time. Faustin Henderson, you're welcome. Uh, thank you very much for that one. Teresa Sully, don't like the cold weather. Can we just skip winter this year? Uh, Nina Harrelson was saying just the same thing on daybreak this morning. So you have some kindred spirits on that one for right now. Okay, rest of the day tomorrow. Sunday looks excellent. No problem at all with temperatures again going back into the mid-60s. So some very nice conditions out there. Maybe a little breezy at times, but actually most of Sunday should be on the sunny side and looking pretty nice. By early Monday morning, we'll set our high temperatures early during the day, probably about daybreak or so. And that blue arrow right there pointing downwards, that again is going to be showing that colder air making its way into the area. So we'll be watching the temperatures slide throughout the day. Right past sunset, numbers will fall off pretty quickly. Rain, windy, colder throughout the day. And by the time we hit dinner time and afterwards, that's where we see that changeover from rain to a rain-snow mixture to maybe just all snow briefly before everything moves on out of here. So again, by midnight Tuesday, everything should be over with. And then the bottom drops out on the temperatures. By the time we get to Tuesday afternoon, we're going to be lucky across the Mid-South to see high temperatures back in the lower 30s. That's it and that's all for temperatures. So we've got some very cold numbers coming our way into and around the area for right now. Uh, it's going to be very frigid out there. And if that's not cold enough for you, well, wait until Wednesday morning. Kids at the school bus stop are going to need to bundle up quite nicely because numbers will be in the teens for temperatures as the skies clear. So it's going to be quite frigid and numbers a little bit warmer on Wednesday for midweek, but not by much. And stair stepping upwards as we go into the course of the rest of the week. Donna Kelsey Faulkner. Yes, uh, winter forecasting, not the easiest thing, and that was part of one of my term papers at the University of Kansas, studying old busted weather forecasts from way back in the 60s, 70s, and early 80s. It was a very eye-opening experience, and it's uh, something that I try to put into practice during these times of the year, especially on stuff like this coming on through. Next weekend will be mild, coolishly mild. We'll be back in the mid to upper 50s. Not much of any chance of rainfall coming on through over the next few days. It looks pretty dry. And again, outside of what we're looking at for Monday, that should be it in the way of rainfall. And that sharp drop in the temperatures will take several days to recover on that. So yes, again, a good burst of winter. No, we're not looking at sticking around for now. But again, be prepared for a very cold Tuesday and a pretty chilly rest of the week as well. Uh, this week, if you're planning out dinners like my wife and I do from time to time, considering the weather, soups and stews would probably be a good bet to warm you up out there. I'm kind of thinking about another crock pot full of chili myself, but I don't know if my wife is going to be up for another one since we made one about a week and a half ago, so we'll see how well that goes. Don't forget to download our app. Keep up to date with weather around the Mid-South area. Find out more at wreg.com slash weather for more. Quick peek ahead into the air quality. Again, keeping track of Mid-South air quality. Very important to see what goes on out there. And for Sunday, according to the National Weather Service and the Environmental Protection Agency, we should be at green or good air pollution at little or no risk. So good news on that. The tropics looking into around the last few weeks of hurricane season, the Gulf, the Caribbean, the Western Atlantic not seeing any problems. And likewise, throughout the rest of the Atlantic Basin, nothing going on at this time. So only about another roughly, what, 20 days to go in the season. So good news so far. 
nothing developing, but stuff can still happen. So again, keep it tuned to the National Hurricane Center and the weather experts will keep you updated should anything develop out there just to be on the safe side. Monday morning, it's going to be a nice lineup as Earth and the Sun will be lined up to where the planet Mercury will be going across the face of the Sun in what is called a transit across the Sun's surface. That'll be happening from about roughly 6.30 in the morning our time through about noon or so. A lot of astronomical groups across the Mid-South are going to get their special solar telescopes up and ready to go. Unfortunately, right now, it's looking like, again, we're not going to be seeing a good chance of getting a view of this very cool astronomical event happening. There's going to be plenty of opportunity to see it online, no question about that, including a couple of space telescopes that will be netcasting live. But for us here in the Mid-South, it's going to start off again in the 50s. A lot of clouds, more rainfall moving in, so not the most ideal conditions to see this. So hopefully, again, we'll get a chance to see this. Uh, it may be locally in between the clouds, but it does not look likely at this time. So forecast for the transit, not doing too good as we go uh, into and around Monday or so for right now. It looks like for the time being. Uh, Melissa Hill, the temperature is well below normal for this time of the year, correct? Uh, that's very correct, yes. Normals at this time of the year are in the roughly lower to mid-60s range, if I recall correctly. So, again, not looking at anything in the way of near normal. It's going to be way below normal, in fact, so good possibility for the time being at this time. Uh, Rebecca Bagwell, Las Vegas, Nevada, 67. Uh, very nice out there. I'm assuming about 2% humidity out that direction as well. Thanks for checking in from out west. Check out my social media pages, and we'll keep you updated on the transit of Venus and the updates on the forecast as well over the next couple of days. Through tomorrow morning, again, clear skies expected and brisk, but not exactly bone-chattering cold out there. Numbers by mid-morning in the lower 50s, and again, lunchtime temperatures uh, post-early church and Sunday school or wherever you happen to be going. Sunday looked to be pretty quiet, back into about the lower 50s. Mid-morning, Lunchtime temperatures in about the upper 60s or so, so a beautiful Sunday coming up. Hopefully you can get out about and take a look around to see what's going on out there. I'll have more information on the forecast coming up on News Channel 3 at 10 and, of course, on News Channel 3 Daybreak early tomorrow morning. Questions, concerns, anything you would like to see on here as part of our weather blog, let us know. Want more satellite pictures, more climate data, uh, more viewer pictures, in which case you have to start sending in more pictures so I can show them. Uh, anything like that, drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com. would love to hear more from you uh, to see what you think about this and, again, to keep you tuning in for more information as to what's going on. And, of course, don't forget to find me on all these social media channels out there, keeping you updated throughout the weekend and into next week. Remember, again, winter weather forecasting things numerous things can change so please keep it updated with the weather experts throughout the weekend and into early monday todd demers will be on with your forecast for veterans day a big thank you to all the veterans out there for serving your country and wearing the uniform and glad to have the day dedicated to you tomorrow we'll take a look at weather where the troops are across the world and around the area of the mid-south as well so stay tuned for that on sunday night's weather overtime for more details there that'll wrap it up for this edition tonight thanks for joining us again and stick around for more at wrhe.com slash weather and more coming up tonight with yours truly on News Channel 3 at 10. Thanks for joining us and stick around for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend.